Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl M here and today uh, we're back with a new video. I know I've been on a hiatus for a few months, but I'm back now. I likely will not be posting very regularly, kind of just when like a good idea comes up or like the opportunity presents itself because I feel like sticking to a schedule has been really tricky because my like work schedule kind of fluctuates. So when I'm free and I have a bit more free time, I'll definitely try to film a video. As you can see with the title of this video, today I'm gonna talk through my organization tool and how I use something like Excel uh, to organize my life. Um, and without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, here we go. Let's jump right into it. So this is the template that I use for my day-to-day uh, -day organization and I mainly use this for work related things but you can definitely use it for school or for any personal matters side hustles like literally you can use it for anything um, and there's a lot of other customizations that you can use with the tool so I'll talk a bit about the views that I have already created and that will be included in the template and also talk through a few like other Excel functionalities too that might be helpful as you start to customize it and try to make it your own. Um, so this is the first view that you'll see, and this is the one that I use the most, and this is uh, my dashboard view is what I like to call it. So it just has like a more holistic view of everything that's going on during the week. Um, so the first thing you'll see here is the my calendar, and this, um, as you can see when I click on it, it's actually a screenshot or like it's actually an image. I decided this was probably easier than... Um, having to merge all the cells and do all of that stuff and creating my own uh, calendar. So I think what I typed was June 2021 calendar minimalist and then I just copy and pasted the image onto here. So this is a great view so I know uh, what the month is going to look like. Um, over here you'll see my weekly to-do list and the reason why I have a weekly to-do and also a to-do master list is because my weekly to-do is for more um, like prioritization and important tasks. I think like during the week or during a day, I'll have more than five things I'll need to accomplish, but I'll hope have like five very important things that I know I need to accomplish. And typically I will sit down on like a Sunday night or Monday morning or something like that and just fill this out for the entire week so I know exactly what I need to do. And it just keeps me more like goal oriented for the week I'm about to have. Um, let's say on Monday I need to like, send email to client or whatever, right? So we fill this in for the week. Um, and then once you're done, you can just strike through and cross it out of your list. Um, to do that, the keyboard shortcut is control five. So to strike through things and unstrike through things. So that's how I like check things off my list. Over here is my to-do master, which is like an ongoing list of everything. I try to be as organized as I can, but honestly, I, I like having all of the stuff I need to do in one place. So in addition to my weekly to-do list, which is for kind of prioritization purposes, I'll put my general to-do list here. Um, so I would probably do something, you know, like buy, like, I don't know, get groceries, um, uh, help mom with gardening, finish watching documentary. I'll do all my to-do lists and again, I'll start crossing them off as I go through them. And then over here, this bottom view, this is my to-do list organized by project. And this is a bit more of like a long-term view. So uh, long-term is maybe like a monthly thing. Like I'll only revisit this every now and then. Um, but these are things I need to accomplish specific to each project that I'm working on. So whether it be like a work-related project, whether it be like my YouTube channel, or whether it's something like my blog, anything like that, it would have their own titles, and then you would put another like list of to-dos underneath. Um, and I know there might be a bit of repetition throughout these like three sections, but I like having different ways to organize the things that I need to get done. And this is really helpful. So I think for anyone in school, you can use this as like your school related headings. You can do stuff that are like not school related as well. You'll also see a few images here and that's kind of like the best way to spice up your Excel sheets. Uh, and they're very easy to put. So I can just do a quick example here. I searched up coffee picture Pinterest um, and a hot tip whenever you want to find anything that's like aesthetic really quickly just Google search um, X Pinterest and you'll find something very aesthetic so let's say I want to put I don't know this picture here really just go ahead copy image and then go to Excel 
and paste it in and it will sit like on top of your sheet so it won't budge anything that's already there you can also crop it if you go to the picture format tab picture format tab at the top and select crop so i can crop into more of like a square or something like that if i want um and so this is like super easy way to just put pictures and make it a bit more your own um, same thing with the colors here you can also adjust the colors so it's a bit more like aesthetic or if you have a specific theme you have in mind you can also do that too i don't know where i found these pictures probably on pinterest somewhere so i'll make sure to find the original links and then link them uh, down below as well uh, the last thing on my dashboard here are um, links to the other tabs on the sheet so for example this one links to the first skills tab um, and the way to do that is you would right click edit hyperlink and then at this bottom part it says select a place in this document so you can choose which uh, sheet you want to jump to or you want to link it to and you can also do this with external links uh, or email addresses as well let's jump onto the skills sheet then so this one is a bit more work focused, but I think it would also work for school. But just in my experience with my jobs, you tend to get graded on like on a rubric, similar to how it works in school. So you can use this to track your assignments or whatever. Uh, but I like to do this so I know how I'm tracking towards like the things that I'm expected to do and the skills that I'm expected to have. So um, I'll put all the skills in the top header here. Um, and then you'll have the generic other descriptions of what these skills should be. So, for example, your first skill might be like communication, right? So, uh, th sorry, this, this one might be communication skills, can't type, <laughs> communication, and then be professional when communicating. This is like so not well put. <laughs> and the details might say something specific like draft emails without any additional help right something like that and so you'd have like the more specific things that you know you need to work on and then over here in the b column i would have the different projects so let's say for project one um there was an instance where i drafted this super amazing email uh drafted amazing email to client a was well received and you can see that the counter will change based on the different examples you put in. So I like to put very clean, clear cut examples here just so I know um, what I've been doing. And a lot of times you'll be doing a lot of stuff and you say like, okay, yeah, like I, I know I'm good at drafting emails, but what are some examples you can show as, as to when you did that? And I think this will really help when you have conversations with your manager or if you're um, like looking for another job or even just like chatting to other people and coffee chatting. And this will really showcase, okay, I know exactly when I did this. Um, so it's a great view. And it, it's also a great view, view to see at a quick glance, like what am I good at? What do I need to improve upon? Um, and you can see very clearly like where your gaps are and that's the whole point of this counter. So once I put something in like here, another example in project two under skill two, you can see the counter goes up and I'm like, okay, I don't need to focus on this anymore because I've already have so many examples of times that I've already showcased this skill. So this is really helpful. I think it'll work also for, you know, any school related things. Um, so you can feel free to tweak it and customize it as you like. I put the date in here because you probably want to revisit this every now and then. So you can put in the date that you did it last so you know, okay, since then, um, what have I done? At the bottom um, of this tab, I also put a fun little thing. You can also include this as like a separate sheet if you want. Uh, but this is kind of like a timeline that I wanted to just include to celebrate myself and my own accomplishments. So um, for example, this is, uh, I don't think this is accurate, but let's say in December 2020, um, I launched my first YouTube video, um, really proud of myself for doing something that made me uncomfortable. Uh, I could do like a short and sweet description of what that task was. And then you can also just like screenshot whatever that task was. So just pretend this is a thumbnail of one of my videos. Um, same process, paste it onto the sheet here. And you can make it very cute and kind of customize it, have a bit of like a collage. And once you start filling it out, you'll be able to look back on all the things that you've accomplished, like on a timeline type of thing. And I thought that was a really cool view. So this is the skills tab. The next tab is contacts. And again, I think this is a bit more relevant 
um, for someone who's working in like a sales role or just a job where you need to manage a lot of relationships or different contacts with people. Um, this also works if you are just um, like a student and you're reaching out and you're doing coffee chats and you want to keep track of the coffee chats you're talking to. Uh, but here's just an example of how I would use this sheet. So for example, let's say I have the name here, I might put their contact info and then some notes about who this person is, just so I have like refresher reminder. And this is very important, I think, for any work related things or like LinkedIn, uh, coffee chat related things. Um, and the last time you spoke to them, so you know, okay, I should probably check in on this person because I haven't spoken to them since January. I uh, also put a bit of a legend or a key and you can make this anything you want, very customizable. Um, you can just make it so it's easier for you to categorize the different types of people you want to put in your contacts tracker. Okay, moving on to the next tab. This is my tips and tricks tab. Um, I found this to be very helpful um, just as I started ramping up on my job. So you can see the different buckets I have. One is power verb. So this is very helpful for like resume writing or cover letters, drafting like good emails or whatever. You want to put like powerful verbs here that will make you seem more eloquent, but I don't put too complicated words in here because sometimes when you overuse those words, it's like, okay, this person does not know what they're talking about. So this is just so I remember if I wanna like use a few more words and put them in my vocabulary and you'll keep it as like a running list. Um, so it'll definitely grow over time. This one is sentence starters. And this is really helpful when I'm drafting emails or preparing different presentations. And again, what I would do is when I'm watching other people present, if I'm like, oh, that that was a great sentence right there, I'm gonna just like type it in my tips and tricks sheet so that I can remember to use that for future reference. Synonyms, same gist. And then general tips, these are can also be kind of like positive affirmations, but other tips I've heard from people are a bit more senior than me um, or just other tips in life. <laughs> I know, for example, like, don't apologize if you haven't done anything wrong, double, triple, check email typos, things like that. Um, so that is my tips sheet. Um, and then the last one is a reading list. Clearly it's very empty, but we can I can go through an entry um, as an example. So let's say you're chatting with someone and they're like, oh, have you seen this TV show? You really should, it's great. And then you forget to write it down. You will not have this problem if you use the reading list and you don't even have to use it just for like books you can use it for like tv shows articles any type of content you are meaning to consume i would put it on my reading list and i think it's helpful to keep like a ledger of all the things that you want to consume that you don't want to consume right now <laughs> so for example let's say someone was telling me about watching selling sunset <laughs> and the category is tv show a uh, link will only really be relevant if you're talking about um, like an article or something like that. Description, uh, you don't have to fill this in, but let's say like my friends, um, Annie said this was a great show. <laughs> and then after I watch it, I can put notes in. I think also this is more relevant if you're thinking about an article or like a documentary, something but more like educational and you wanna take a few jot notes so you remember what it is you consumed. Um, you can also put a rating in here if you want. So that would be the rating list. And so these are the different tabs that I have in my sheet, but you can definitely add your own. I think some other examples I had was creating like one for recipes, um, but those can even be like entire sheets on their own. So there's definitely a lot of different things that you can do. I'm open to any new ideas. If anyone has um, ideas, please comment them down below and I'll try to create them on Excel and make a few more templates for you guys if that's helpful. Um, obviously Notion is a great alternative and it's a lot more user friendly I think and it's a lot more customizable and pretty as well but I think with Excel there are also a lot of different things that you can do to make it look good um, and to make it your own. So for me I think Excel has been a great way for me to organize my life but there are plenty of other tools that you can also use. So that's pretty much how how I organize my life and I would love to hear any feedback or comments you have down below. Um, and with that, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and also turn on um, notifications because I post sporadically and you're not going to know when a video is coming to you. So make sure you turn on your notifications and hope to see you in the, in the next one. A little peace out. Bye!